Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this is a new um, feature. You need version 191. So, multi res sharp border option. So, we need an example here. These objects are created with multi res sharp border. Okay, I delete them. So, let's add a, a cylinder. Let's create a hole inside like this and we change the divisions so I only need six something like this here okay and I validate this object so here when you now use here the multi-resolution and subdivide the mesh um, you get something here like this so like a donut and so maybe I clone it so I clone it so this is here subdivision and this one I clone again and I use this and the linear subdivision looks like this so okay and the sharp border thing here you find it here this option and you see here such a small icon here it's a uh, this is yeah for uh, the sharp border option so when you subdivide it so you see here when you subdivide it once more, you get a cylindric shape. Okay. So, and you can use it for yeah, some, yeah, creating some other objects here. So I use here the face group and paint every side here. in a different face group like this so you see here the inside is one face group one face group color and this the top and the bottom is one face group color so when you subdivide the mesh then this becomes round but this edge here stays um, sharp so when I press now subdivide, so the inner circle becomes round like this, like it's a cylinder. And so you can create yeah, such a, um, a screw, not the screw, so uh, what's the name for it? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, okay. I hope you understand. So the next example is, um, so I add a lace tool. Okay, so a new feature is also here uh, when you activate in the front view or in a aligned view. So I press here and lock this view and activate the grid. You see here now such a small um, magnet icon so this is the snapping to the grid so now it snaps to the grid so let's create something here maybe like this so and I change the division to four. So then it looks like this. Okay. And here maybe 
like this and here like this. There's something wrong here. Okay, looks fine. So I validate this object now and I check the face groups. Um, so at the moment it looks like this and when we use multi-resolution and subdivide this mesh it becomes like this. So undo steps. So now I want the sharp border thing here. Face group is active, so dot menu, face group, and the symmetry is off. So I paint here the face groups. So and maybe we keep this also um, maybe I I keep it um, in a in the same face group color so like this so now let's see what happens so checkbox sharp border and let's subdivide so now you get this. So you have to plan a little bit um, and know what subdivision does with your mesh um, to get the result you want. So, okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.